Women are not objects to be handed out by government. Well, they should be uh, just a consideration. Hello, and welcome back to r slash incel tier. I 100% absurdly hate women. They have the most absolutely rotted thought process, say things without thinking, and just can't process reason. Uh, do you not stop and think about what is being said? They are like people in a political debate. They become engraved by their original opinion and don't see what the other side is saying. Women are terrible creatures. Uh, you know what? You know price either, dude. How about making new and real incel dating site? Without any stupid age limits for joining girls, yes, that would create danger of various anti-ped vigilante shot joining and luring pool incels. But incel must be suspicious anyway, and always be on guard, plus for inexperienced ones guide of how to avoid becoming anti-ped vigilante's victims to be provided. Women shouldn't be able to graduate uni unless their hymen is intact. I'm sorry, could you explain the relationship between those two? Because obviously this is some superior intelligence I'm not understanding. Okay, so you don't know how hymens work, which isn't surprising at all. <laughs> Damn. If you think you're getting revenge on people by being hateful towards them and lashing out, you're not, and they're laughing at you. Your pain entertains them. Bitter pill to swallow, but it's true. Yeah, pretty much. My mom is a Stacy, and even did a little modeling back in the 80s when she was young, and I received all of my subhuman features from my incel dad. It's over. Am I still a tad bit blue pill, or just a master of coping? One, I still have hope that I will get a girlfriend in the future. Two, I know that object Objectively, it's impossible for me to get a girlfriend, I'm too ugly, and there are no documented cases of guys getting girlfriends at 23 or older. These thoughts, however, coexist in my mind. It's like there's no conflict, I just get excited that I might get a girlfriend, even though that's mathematically impossible. It's like sitting down calculating that 1 plus 1 equals 2, but then also believing that it's 3, even though you know it's 2, and then just being happy that it's both 2 and 3, uh, sorry, what? All tattoos are bad. And when women age, they hit the wall. And if a woman has tats all over her body as she hits the wall, God help us all. Okay, but who wants to be attractive for you? This is a sad attempt of a cope, but the point stands nonetheless. Yes, I am utterly devastated for whatever you think I'm coping with. You're the one who became upset for my original statement, which wasn't even directed at you, but a generalization. The fact that it had such a reaction from you appears to say that it touched a sense sensitive spot for you, it's quite telling. You know, we really can't take anything serious from you considering you're the type of group that would probably get a tattoo to try to impress a girl. Shame on men who marry single mothers. Society hates pets so much, and not just real pets, but e pets I don't even know how to pronounce that too, who had just have a bigger attraction to fresh ripe girls of prime age than average man, while instead it is clucks who marry single mothers and various scum who would be hated, as they are encouraging immoral behavior of femoids. Those men need to be castrated for not to breed with their defective seeds. Imagine can't living without shaving your legs and taking pictures of showing your legs. Imagine can't living without taking a picture of your bananas. Imagine can't living without getting attention. Imagine being slave to your animalistic nature. Imagine couldn't give a good counterattack in argument and because of that making drama at social media. Imagine being slave of beauty. Imagine having brain but not using. Imagine can't going out without making makeup. Imagine can't living without getting Chad's nut. Imagine can't living without getting likes. Imagine lying about your past relationships or activity because you are scaring that you will be tagged with slot. Just for laugh at Foyd's, incel's life is not miserable. Your life is miserable, Foyd's, because you are the one who are true weaks and false at the same time. What a waste of DNA, sadly, <laughs> lol. Yeah, imagine not being able to form proper sentences. Femoids have no standards. Simps like to blame standard cells for being no different than femoids. What is untrue as females, with the except only girls from culture who are extremely rare, have no standards. What femoids have is mostly animalistic attractions to alphas inseminators, chads mostly often in breeding phase 1, and requirements for a beta provider in breeding phase 2. For a creature to have standards, it must be developed being spiritually and emotionally for having personal taste instead of animalistic attraction to chad femoids have 
and preference to particular types of jazz over others uh, does not count as personal taste in phase one and greedy calculations of man's economic usefulness in phase two, and so only evolved beings are able to have standards, men except simps and girls of culture, but those are sadly, was said, are extremely rare. Okay, why do you have to treat everything like a Nat Geo documentary? Rage fuel! Why don't I deserve a kitty? Who lives alone in a nice small apartment? A got good kush. A gang to make a hundred thousand a year programmer salary after uni. A good hygiene and fit body. Ah, oh, five foot six with an ugly face though. So why the frick I don't deserve a kitty? Just give me a void. It will change everything. Instead of sitting now in front of a laptop high and shot posting on .co and watching Married with Children instead of all of that shot, I could cuddle the void. I could leave this site. I could develop a positive mindset. I could be happy, but no. No! I mean, in reality, you could do all of those things to better your life without the need of another person to be there. You're kind of a big boy. Do your own thing and do the right thing. Try having a positive outlook on life and things might actually turn out good for you. To all of the female lurkers here, to all of the women who discovered this sub, here is a quick message from the mods. Women in general, this is a man-only sub, and women can't participate. If you harass any users, you will be banned on site. If you post any hate or anything, you will be banned on this site. This includes comments. If it's support, you will be banned, since this is short cells. A two-hour gentleman, if you see any female lurkers posting or commenting, do not reply. Download and report said lurker. We'll take care of it. Thank you, and have a good one. You know, doing this kind of post and saying you're not allowed to join just because of some stupid reason is like trying to stop a train with a wet towel. There's just no point. IT are liars. It's funny how many liars are on IT. You have lying soy clucks out here who have enough time to post 50 times a day, yet claim to be computer science majors, and are clearly too low IQ for even the most worthless university majors, let alone computer science. Others were clearly never even touched by a female in the 40 years of their lives and claim to have girlfriends and wives. No one believes you freaking idiots. No one on there have a social life. No one on there has kissed a female. Everyone on their lives in their parents' basements and looks down on neckbeards and nice guys. Yet watchdogs are far bigger losers. You can tell by the way they post that everything they say is a lie and they have no life experience at all. They are involuntary virgins. The ones that claim to be married are not and the ones that claim to be female are not. Here, got a little advice for you. What am I supposed to do with this? You can use it to better yourself and possibly get a girlfriend. You fullings always try to help. What would really help is if you had messing around with me and give me a slobby knob. What the frick? Seriously, that's, uh, that's the one thing that kind of sucks is that people will try to give actual advice to better people in their lives, but nope, they just want to yell at themselves because that's apparently the main issue. You don't need to mess around with anybody in order to have a good life. But no, apparently the world is all against you and nothing is gonna ever work in your life just because you can't get a girlfriend. The story of 2030, always telling the future. Around 95% of the male population is incel. The only man allowed to procreate is GigaChad. GigaChads build harems of foids and they impregnate them all, like sea lions do. Incels are forced to work like slave hand to sustain them. GigaChads only need to take care of his body and impregnate foids. The harems are around 20 females. Neatbox has been removed and the incels are forced to go and watch how Giga Chads frick Stacy. Chad fishing is quite possibly one of my most favorite activities now with quarantine. Today, Chad fishing is so easy. Literally find some random model from a different country and crop it. Set up a fake Instagram with a different account and using the same photos. There's bots you can get to fake your followers and following on there. You can fake everything on Snapchat and you can use Google Voice to get a fake phone number every time you are banned from Tinder. It's literally too easy. I know it's soothful for most people, but watching them get depressed in thinking they're getting an elite tier male, but in return, a shotting on their feelings and making them feel worthless, nothing will ever top that. I call this justice. You know, the one thing I gotta say, and this goes to literally anybody watching this, don't catfish unless you have a legit reason, like if for Chris Hansen's to catch a predator. Power walking thought ruined my day! Was on lunch break, walking on peaceful walking slash biking path, when Stacy came power walking past me, properly clothes, hello well, no, wearing barely nothing. The skirt type thing was short as frick, and I was forced to stare at that button tanned legs. Plus, if you know power walking, it causes one's butt to move 
decide to say quickly. Of course, I got rock hard erection, and then remember three words only for Chad. Thanks, Power Walking Stacy. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you want to be absolutely amazing and supportive for the channel, be sure to slam the like button. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.